Hey guys, so I am actually, well, let me just do that, okay, and then do that, and then do that. Okay guys. Hey, what's going on guys? Davey, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am actually pretty upset. So I decided why not do a rant, because I've never done one of these, and I'm actually feeling pretty upset right now. So, if you guys don't know, there's this TV show called The Flash. No, um, advertisements, it's not advertisement video, but yeah. So, this is a TV show called The Flash, right? And I've actually been addicted to it, I've been watching it lately. I just finished it, but I'm mad about this. So, uh, Julian Albert. He is, uh, the character in the, uh, Black and Flash and Dr. Alchemy. This is who plays him Tom Felton, aka Draco Malfoy. Right? So they decided to add Harry Potter into this. And you know, I'm fine with it because he's just an actor, right? He doesn't have anything to do with, or he has something to do with Harry Potter, but he's just an actor. He can play in anything he wants, just like how Emma Watson's in the Beauty and the Beast and all that stuff. But, the one thing I'm mad about is, uh, and, the Philosopher's Stone. And, hey Potter, the Philosopher's Stone, aka the Sorcerer's Stone, view people in America, or is the stone that can bring people back to life and all that stuff, right? Well, in here, this thing, it talks about the Philosopher's Stone, which is right here, that uh, Dr. Alchemy uses to resurrect Savitar, and that what Savitar uses to come back to life, to free himself from the Speed Force. Now, if you guys have not watched The Flash, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but... There's two Harry Potter references in the third book. Oh no, in the third season. Why? First you have Malfoy, and now you have the Philosopher's Stone. Really, like the creators of Flash, you couldn't have come up with anything better? Like, for real. You couldn't come up with anything better than, uh, how would... What the heck? Albert Desmond, okay then, and here it's, his name is Julian Albert, but in here apparently it's Albert Desmond, sorry about that, but yeah, so, what should I call it, I'm still upset about this, because, uh, they're saying that D Malfoy and the Philosopher's Stone are both in the Flash, see, look, even right here, they're talking about Malfoy, Malfoy and Flash, Malfoy and Flash, Malfoy in the Flash. Let me press you. Why don't you let me press it? Nope. Go back. No. 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 It's Malfoy and the Philosopher's Stone in the Flash. No. No, this cannot happen. They can, you cannot have so many Harry Potter references in the Flash. That cannot happen. Like for real, it's not the same movie base. It's not even the same universe. And if it's the same universe, why doesn't it go by Draco Malfoy, not Julian Albert? You cannot have this much stuff collide together. What? Now you're saying that Harry Potter is in the DC universe, the DC comic universe? Like for real. And another thing I want to rant about about the Flash is how could all this life deafening stuff like the uh flash black hole that's not how you spell black season two see look because at the end of Season, I think it was season one. Yeah, at the end of season one, there's a black hole, right? How does no other universe get stuck with it? Or 
how does all this happen? When for real, like, Mitch McCart. So, he has to kill himself in order for the evil f uh, reverse flash to die, right? Which turned out to be a good guy, a good guy turns out to be reverse flash. And Ronnie ended up sadly dying so, uh, uh, in all this. Just like, it sucks, man. That cannot happen. This flash, um, the, the firestorm cannot die. Why did firestorm have to die and become this firestorm? This firestorm died and became this firestorm. I'm not trying to be racist or anything. Not being racist because this one's black. But this guy was way cooler. You know, he had the cool backstory of being the um, fiancé uh, of one of the Flash team members who was presumed dead. And then comes back to life with the help of Dr. Stein because they fused together to become Firestorm. They end up getting powers and saving the world. But now, uh, he has to die and he has to come in. This guy has to come in to save Dr. Stein's life. No, and not again, really? No, really? Oh, okay, what just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Okay. But yeah, I am just mad about this guy, okay? I am just upset. Because I don't like anything about the Flash now. And now, this is what happens at the end of the story. Because, look at this. Wait, no, let's go back fully. Uh, let's go to Flash... Ending season three images. Wait, okay. So this is how it ends, right? Barry has to walk in to the time force in order to save the world because uh, Savitar died, right? They killed Savitar, but somehow Savitar was trapped in the Speed Force, and only a speedster can save the, or can hold the speed, speed force up. If not, the whole world is going to be destroyed if no one's taking his place and only a speedster can. Barry Allen, Flash, the only other speedster. Well, there's a couple more speedsters, but he risks his life after at the end, him and his girlfriend or slash fiance are about to get married, have a life, be Barry Allen and his, uh, Iris West Allen. And for real, this is happening. He goes into the Speed Force to be trapped for eternity. This is not supposed to happen. Like, this just no. No, no. This is what I'm mad about. Whoops. This is what I'm mad about. About the Flash. This is why I'm upset. Whoa. Now that I've got that out of my system, I felt like I just had to say something. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more rant videos like this one, the rant about the Flash, then comment down below or like this video. Leave a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more content on this channel. Have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Check it.